What's up? This is your boy Elijah, professional male ballet dancer. I think I danced a few times here and there. Today we're gonna to talk about five truths about ballet coaches. Let's get into it. For one, a coach and a teacher are not the same thing. This is a very common misconception. A coach is finishing you as a product, as a dancer. A coach is refining your technique and your artistry. They work on your technique, they encourage you. A coach should also be very personalized and tailored. They should actually really know you and get to know you really well as a person. It's actually really great to have, you know, maybe deeper conversations with your coach on more of a deeper level and get to know your goals and get to know each other. That's what makes a great relationship between a coach and a student. And like I said, coaches should be very encouraging. Teachers, on the other hand, in my opinion at least, present the material and usually have to teach it to a number of students, right? A number of dancers. There can be up to, I don't know, 10 to 15, maybe even 30 in some cases as dancers in a studio and it's really hard to get that personalized attention that you'll get from a coach so that's why I believe coaches and teachers are not the same thing a teacher can also be a coach but like I said before the teacher has to deal with a larger class size and have to divide their attention among a lot of other people and it's really not fair if one person gets more attention than the other all right number two not all coaches are great dancers and not all dancers are great coaches. All right, let's break this down a little bit. We kind of all know people that may be really great at dancing, right? But then when they get into the studio to teach or to coach, they're not the best at it. They may not know how to explain things. They may not know how to get the idea across to you. In some cases, actually, in my experience at least, it's taken me many coaches and teachers to get the same idea across. And that might just be because the coach or the teacher, right, gave it to me in a different way. It always takes like that one extra push or that one extra different way of saying it for it to click in your mind. Now on the vice versa of that, not all coaches are necessarily great dancers. Now this one I really love, right? So you might have a teacher or a coach and maybe they haven't had the best dance career. They haven't had all the standing ovation, Lincoln Center, War Memorial Opera House, whatever it may be, right? But they're excellent, excellent coaches. And I can tell you there's a lot of those. I really believe that you shouldn't choose a coach just based on what their past dance history was. Yes, it's important and it's great to see how they've trained and what their teachers were, what kind of style and technique they did. Just because they didn't have a decorated career as a principal, prima ballerina, big dancer with all the best partners, no. You know what? In fact, you can be a really great coach without being a great dancer. Part of this is because coaches have a really keen observation and are really good at seeing and pointing out. Coaches are connoisseurs of the dance art, the art of dance, the art of ballet. They really understand the science of it, the artistry of it, the musicality. And that segues into my point number three. Coaches, just like teachers, need to be artistic, musical, and scientific. Okay, let's break those down really quick. So when it comes to being scientific as a coach, what does this mean? Like ballet is an art form, like why, why do you need to be scientific? No, listen, when you're dancing and the coach sees that you've made a mistake, the coach needs to be able to identify the cause of that mistake and then reverse engineer a way in correcting that without disrupting the flow, right? You want the flow to be good in a classroom. You don't just want someone to, you know, uh, take you from jumps and then have you say, okay, fix this and go back to the bar. Scientific thinking is the essence of really great corrections and the way that dancers are really helped. And this is a really important quality in actually both coaches and teachers. The easiest example of that actually comes from the ABT um, curriculum. It's like one of the most common ones that they do. When you're doing a uh, coupe jeté, right on diagonal and the dancer is leaning and the legs going to the side an easy way to correct that without disrupting the flow of the act of jumping right because it's a jumping movement is to just do grand jetés on the diagonal very straight and narrow and then when you go back to do the coupe jeté with the turn right and a manege perhaps you're not going to lean like that. Now, as far as musicality, okay, I've heard this, I know this, I've seen it time and time again. A lot of coaches and teachers make a huge mistake with this. The quality of the music, right, the dynamics and the quality of the music to what you're dancing to affects the quality of the movement, which in turn is going to affect the development of the muscles. An easy example of this is if you're doing Grombat Ma to very slow music, right? Dun, dun, ding, dun, ding, ding, ding. You're gonna actually end up getting very thick in the thighs, right? For a Grombat Ma, you want a quick up and a slow down, and that will develop leaner muscles. Musicality affects the movement dynamic, which is gonna affect the development of the muscles. 
very, very important. And then lastly, you know, of course, teachers and, and coaches alike, they need to be artistic and dynamic and creative. Nothing bores you like a teacher that's just very technical, very on point. You want someone that's expressive, that's musical, that will give you, you know, plie and stretch and demi plie instead of and a plie and a stretch and a plie and a, why would you want to dance with that, right? You want someone that's going to demonstrate a combination, demonstrate the movement. And I'll say this, I'll say this, the best teachers, they don't even have to stand up and correct you. They don't even have to show the exercise, right? If you understand the ballet terminology, right? All you need to know is the words. A teacher can sit down on a chair and say, plie and stretch, demi plie and stretch, crumb plie and six straight knees seven and a eight if the teacher or a coach expresses it artistically and musically at the same time right artistically and musically i guess musically mu musicality actually falls into the category of, of being artistic as a coach you're going to be a lot more inspired as a dancer and the way you dance is going to improve tremendously than if you have a plie stretch and a plie on a stretch and a grand plie my fourth point coaches are not just for professional dancers or pre-professional dancers a ballet coach can be for everyone a lot a lot a lot of adults i'm telling you every single day are taking ballet class and they love it they love it they love it and just like people that go to the gym for exercise some may want you know a little bit of the personal training a little bit of the personal coaching and not to say adult dancers are even doing performances nowadays and forming their own companies to have a coach as an adult dancer can be a really great way of improving your dancing developing a relationship one-on-one -on -one with someone that you may admire as an artist and is an excellent way Way of improving your technique which is going to improve your exercise i just want to note that to have someone to really fine-tune what you're doing if you're dancing anyways every single day or maybe three times a week even two times a week even one time a week is an excellent opportunity to fine-tune certain aspects of your technique is actually going to help tremendously with improving your technique but also injury prevention which is a huge important topic for another day we'll get into it but without further ado point number five my last point and we all know this this because we've had over a year of the illness yes coronavirus i don't want to say it on here because i'll get demonetized or whatever listen guys a coach does not need to be in the studio with you to help improve your technique now kind of going off one of my last points a coach can be excellent and just sitting and telling you what to do. Dance is a visual and audio art form. Through our phones, through our tablets, through our computers, what do we get? Video, audio, visual. A coach does not have to be with you in the studio to make a tremendous impact on your technique, okay? You can have a coach remotely, you can have a coach in the studio, you can have a coach uh, at a basketball court, you can have a coach at a tennis court. It doesn't have to be in the studio. Ballet is not limited to just the studio. Ballet is for everywhere. Ballet is architecture, geometry, and movement. Ballet is for everyone. There you go. That's my five simple truths about ballet coaches. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. We're gonna have many more of these videos to come and I have a very, very exciting announcement. I'm starting a three month summer intensive for adult students, okay? And if you wanna join, listen, just go to my Instagram, Elisha Nelson, it's in the description below. Send me a DM, ballet, and I will get back to you and we will see if we're a right fit. I'm accepting 20 students. We're gonna go from the very, very beginner to intermediate level where you guys will be comfortable going anywhere in the world and dropping in in a ballet class, any ballet class. And you will know how to modify for your body. You will learn some ballet history. You will get some stretching conditioning, injury prevention. This is a full-fledged three-month course for for the adult dancer that really wants to go from that beginner level, not understanding the technique, not understanding the combinations to an intermediate level where you can comfortably go into a class, understand all the terminology, memorize the combination easily and modify it for your body if it's a little too advanced and still enjoy and love the art of dance. Thanks so much for watching the video guys. Listen, there's gonna be more of these, like I said, just hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys real soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been your boy Elijah, I'm out, peace. Oh, my God.